Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to theCUBE's live coverage of the Red Hat Summit here in the Mile High City, Denver, Colorado. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, sitting alongside my co-host and analyst, Paul Gillen. Thanks so much for, for being here with me today, Paul. Pleasure to be here, Rebecca. This is an exciting uh, session we're about to have because I'm old enough to remember <laughs> when having a Microsoft executive appear at a Red Hat event would have been unthinkable. Right. And it really shows how, how much this industry has changed. It really has, up. it really, the partnerships, the ecosystem, and so this is great to introduce our next guest. He is Zhao Kotu, the Vice President and COO Commercial Solutions for EMEA at Microsoft. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you very much, Rebecca. Thank you, Paul. Looking forward to it. So, you're here today to talk about the strategic partnership between Red Hat and, and, and Microsoft that brings together these two industry leaders. Tell our viewers a little bit about this partnership. Just give us a broad overview. Uh, it's a very good question. Look, first, uh, this, these are two industry leaders uh, worldwide, right? So if you think about the Fortune 500 customers as an example, more. 95% uh, of them uh, use Microsoft technology, 90% of them use uh, Red Hat uh, solutions as well. So it makes a ton of sense for us to collaborate and deliver more value to our customers. Um, in this context, we, we have also been working very diligently together uh, to promote open source. So it's not like something completely weird to do. Microsoft has been uh, very, very keen to embrace open source. Uh, we are uh, one of the big, uh, big sponsors of the Open Source Foundation. We have been working very closely uh, and even opening up our own code to open source. Uh, we have acquired also GitHub, uh, which is also one of the largest repositories of, of uh, open source worldwide. And in that context also it makes a lot of sense to work together with um, with Red Hat. So what we have been doing so far is making sure that we are co-developing solutions together with Red Hat and making these solutions available to our customers, making it easy for customers to transform, to modernize their estates uh, of Red Hat technology running on-prem and moving them into cloud using our own Microsoft cloud technology uh, but Red Hat solutions in a very, very seamless, integrated way. And also leveraging all the entire portfolio of Red Hat automation tools so that we can make it easier for customers not just to do the migration, but also to do the management, the run, and the operation, uh, and uh, all the, the troubleshooting also from a customer care perspective. So that's that's basically a, an end-to-end -end partnership approach that we are taking. Now about three quarters of enterprise workloads still are running on-prem. So there's a huge opportunity for companies like Microsoft in cloud migration. What are you doing to encourage those customers who are running Red Hat, a Red Hat stack on-prem, to move to choose Azure as their cloud? It's a very good question. Like every single customer in the world has certain applications, certain workloads that they are not able to move to cloud, even if they wanted to. And this might be for uh, some requirements from the application standpoint, in terms of latency, might be from regulatory standpoint, might be from security standpoint. So there are a lot of reasons why customers are not able to move uh, from uh, on-prem to cloud. That doesn't mean that the customers are staying on-prem. Typically what happens is that the customers look at their entire portfolio and then start to move into cloud parts of that portfolio and therefore uh, almost like differentiating the type of applications that they can move to cloud and the type of applications that they can stay on-prem. And this is where this partnership uh, with Red Hat is unique, right? Because we give the, the opportunity to customers to choose uh, what makes more sense for them. Some workloads will remain on-prem, some workloads will go into a, what we call a hybrid environment, which means they run some of the, the workloads on-prem, but they manage it almost as if it was in the same way in the cloud, running on the cloud, as an example, leveraging Azure Arc services which enables you to manage an on-prem environment as if the environment was up and running on Azure on the cloud. 
And then you have the other uh, workloads which customers can move immediately into cloud and, and also in that context, we also collaborate with Red Hat and with customers to facilitate that move with some automation tools to make the migration as fast and as smooth as possible. So the increased flexibility is one of the primary benefits. Oh, absolutely. What are some of the other ones in terms of disruption, economic benefits, um, reduced complexity? A, Can you talk a little bit absolutely. through those? Absolutely. I think that the, the running on the cloud brings the flexibility, as you were saying, right? The ability to deploy it very quickly rather than waiting three months, uh, deploy it in a minute, pay only when you use uh, uh, so being able to scale up or scale down depending on peaks of demand that you might have, and that is the, ben the traditional benefits of cloud. But also when you look at it from a cost perspective, we run uh, uh, very recently a study with uh, Forrester, and it's amazing to see that when they look at the total cost of ownership, the return on investment, customers get a return on, on investment of 192%. So that means that the investment that they do, they recover the investment actually faster than one year. So this gives you the sense also from an economic standpoint uh, of what is the impact. And the reason being is very simple because you get access to the latest technology, but you only pay for actually what you use. We also added some commercial benefits into the equation. So enabling customers to use their commitments that they have with Microsoft. We have the vast majority of our enterprise customers have uh, Microsoft Cloud commitments that uh, now with this partnership with uh, Red Hat, they can actually use the, these commitments and use our marketplace to buy the solutions that they want to buy from Red Hat, being uh, solutions totally new or existing solutions as well. And they can decrement, they can leverage the Microsoft commitments to deduct those values from the Microsoft commitments. The other benefit from a commercial standpoint is also that the customers can inherit some of the commercial benefits and the commercial conditions that they have with Microsoft. And that uh, enables them, if you have a, a certain platform which is running already in a stable way, they can actually buy up front the, what we call the reserved instance, which means buying capacity up front for one year or three years, which gives them savings, which can go up like 72% uh, on, on a comparison base versus a pay-as-you-go model where you only pay what you use. So this brings a huge commercial benefit to customers. The last point that I wanted to, to bring to attention is, uh, of course, apart from this engineering integration which makes the solutions uh, already proven, already tested, so customers are able to use the solutions on an off-the-shelf basis, just go to our marketplace and select the solutions and they have been tested already. But apart from that, also from a support perspective. They get an integrated support experience from Red Hat technical teams and Microsoft technical teams. And this means that these two technical teams are often co-located. So whenever a customer has a challenge, they are being answered by Microsoft and Red Hat technical teams, all that are working together to solve this a uh, challenge from a customer. So this brings also an increased level of confidence to customers to move to cloud, knowing that on the, on the support side they will count with the, the power of both brands. So you are clearly giving a lot to Red Hat customers to encourage them to move to Azure. What is, my, uh, what is Red Hat giving you in exchange? <laughs> well, look, uh, as I said, Red Hat has a huge customer base uh, as I mentioned, 90% of the Fortune 500, and then if you go down into the Fortune 2000 or into the largest customers in the world, most of them run Red Hat solutions. And most of them also run them on-prem. And this is where the big opportunity is, to not only to migrate and transform these customers into cloud as they are 
going into their transformation journey, but also modernize their solutions. Uh, as they modernize their solutions, uh, as an example with SAP, is also another key partner that typically customers also use Red Hat technologies uh, with SAP. So this is another example where you can actually leverage this partnership, not just to move and migrate and modernize into cloud, but also taking advantage of all the integration with Azure services, which brings additional security, um, more flexibility into how you manage the backup, secu security, uh, disaster recovery, et cetera, all in an integrated way with Azure. So the Red Hat way is, is all about open source and co-creation and community. How does this partnership align in that, in that sense? I mean, how are you together fostering innovation um, in, in this space? As I mentioned, uh, we, we have been long standing already uh, partnering together with open source, so that comes naturally. Uh, we have both engineering teams from both sides working together to achieve this level of integration between the two solutions, so when you talk about Red Hat Enterprise Linux, or when you have the Red Azure Red Hat OpenShift, which is a new solution that we have recently launched. Uh, these are solutions that bring in, using open source, bringing an additional level of integration, flexibility, automation to customers, so that they can migrate and manage their solutions in a more seamless way, and in a more easy way. So we are embedding the this kind of overlying partnership from an open source perspective to bring these innovations live to customers. Uh, Microsoft has committed to supporting RHEL uh, on Azure, to supporting OpenShift on Azure. Red Hat made several announcements uh, today, uh, RHEL for AI, OpenShift for AI, will Microsoft support those as well? Absolutely, look, embedding AI is something that uh, it's already present very, very present in our entire portfolio um, of Microsoft solutions, not just with Copilot, uh, with a Microsoft 365 Copilot, Security Copilot, Visual Studio Copilot, Copilot Sales, etc., but also with the Azure Open AIs and Gen AI services. And this is where we are working together very closely with strategic partners like Red Hat to also leverage this technology to make it more easy embedded in their own solutions. And again, when you, when you think about using uh, uh, simple things like uh, how, many, uh, how many VMs, how many uh, servers do I have activated uh, uh, all across uh, on Red Hat on Azure? And then the, the, the Gen AI Copilot can answer you that question. And how many of those were activated today? And how many of those require maintenance? And how many of those are fully secured, et cetera, et cetera. So you can go on questioning the system and use the Copilot and use OpenAI and GenAI to actually deliver those answers on a very easy uh, customer interface perspective. Would you have any customer success stories to share? Because I mean, you, you have highlighted some of the cost savings, the Forrester research, which is, highlights so much cost savings. How, how else are customers benefiting from this partnership? Look, uh, the customer feedback has been uh, fantastic, I have to say. Unfortunately, I cannot name specific <laughs> customers. Uh, not just, not because I don't want to, but because we have a very uh, strict policy for customers to authorize that. Uh, and given the, the partnership uh, recent history, we have not yet uh, uh, went into this direction. But I can share with you, look, we have big customers in Germany, as an example, on automotive. We have big customers on consumer goods, uh, in uh, the largest consumer goods customers in the world. Uh, we have big customers also on the, the services, on, on the professional services arena. So every industry that I can think of, we already have very big, uh, uh, largest customers in the world as references that uh, we leverage also to connect to, to customers that are uh, looking into and thinking about embracing into this journey. 
Excellent. We had, we had Stephanie Shearis on earlier and she was talking about the ecosystem and as a member of this ecosystem, can you talk a little bit about the benefits that you receive from, from being part of it and, and not just inter interacting with Red Hat but also the, the, their, their own partners too. She said that there is a real sharing and a real sense of community and a, and a, and a sharing of best practices. Oh, absolutely, look, I think that uh, the beauty of this ecosystem is that it has multiple players, right? Uh, if you think about, there are players which are, as I mentioned, the SAP, but there are also players specialized on security, there are also players specialized on uh, running uh, automation tools, that, and customers typically have multiple solutions that they benefit from including running multi-cloud environments, <laughs> not just Microsoft, but also some of the other cloud providers as well. So running this in an ecosystem perspective and being able to provide to customers the benefit of choice, uh, leveraging as an example our marketplace, where you can actually find solutions from different providers, these solutions have been already integrated, already fully tested on our Microsoft Cloud, this gives them a huge benefit to customers, but also a huge benefit to the partner ecosystem. Because then they are not only part of the, this integration effort, they are leading edge from an innovation perspective, so we are all innovating together. And they are benefiting also from the customer base, not just from Microsoft, but for also from the other partner ecosystem. So it's actually a win-win-win Scenario. Win, win, win. I love Absolutely. it. I love it. Zhao, thank you so much for coming on the Cube. Oh, a really thank you great very conversation. Much. Thank you. I'm Rebecca Knight for Paul Gillen. Stay tuned for more of the Cube's live coverage of the Red Hat Summit. You're watching the Cube, the leader in tech enterprise coverage.